I personally love dragons as they are my favorite animal. Game of Thrones Season 8, or the final season, is said to be released in 2019. How to Train Your Dragon 3, or the final movie of the How to Train Your Dragon series, is also said to be released 2019. Therefore, we decided to put together this video, which is a theory on who would come out on top if Toothless were to go up against the biggest dragon at the moment in Game of Thrones, Drogon. They were both thought to be extinct and are known as the last dragons, even though there's a theory that there may be more in Game of Thrones. Of course, Drogon has siblings and Toothless has a mate, but it's quite poetic, don't you think, the parallel of their stories? What would happen if Toothless was to have a go head-to-head -head with Drogon? The first thing that we have to rectify is the fact that Toothless is more of a cartoon animated character, while Drogon is based on reality. We would have to make Toothless a little bit more realistic. The two best concepts that we've seen for this are these two, one by deviant artist Dante Fitz and this other one for which we can't seem to find the original artist. If you're the original artist and you're watching this for this beautiful, realistic Toothless, please leave us a comment below as well as a link to your website. Now, let's take a look at the dragon size chart. Someone already took the time to make this comparison chart and from it, we can see how much smaller Toothless is in comparison to Drogon, but we know that this doesn't matter from what we saw in How to Train Your Dragon 2, as Toothless was able to go head to head with the Bewilder Beast. Now, granted that Titan was just standing there for most of the time, and to be completely fair, Toothless also had help from other dragons. Drogon would not follow the same alpha laws as he's a dragon from a different region and a different world altogether, so that means no mind control in this fight. The two dragons would probably square each other off by roaring intimidatingly. Drogon would shoot a stream of flame towards Toothless. Being much smaller and significantly more agile than Drogon, Toothless would be able to parry out of the way quite quickly. He would rebut by doing a dive bomb plasma attack. There is a variegation as to how much damage Toothless plasma bombs can actually do, as we see them obliterate objects, but then they keep Stoic completely intact as though the Viking was Luke Cage. That was the most fake scene in the movie, and I understand why they did it, but it would have been more realistic for Toothless to narrowly have missed Stoic and have a piece of debris flying to Stoic's head, or hit him on his head, which would of course, hit him hard enough to kill him. Oh well, gotta not upset those kids or parents who want to shield them from death. Let's assume that one of those plasma bombs would punch quite a deep hole into Drogon. That would make Toothless's plasma shots the equivalent to a powerful dragon shotgun. Drogon can get pierced by arrows, so he's not invincible when it comes to damage. Toothless is the kind of dragon that draws in his speed and power to overthrow his enemy, as he would most certainly lose if he were to go one-on-one -on -one, head to head with them. Although dragons are generally intelligent, Drogon doesn't seem to possess as much intellect as Toothless. He is more so an animal than Toothless, and that's just based on what we've seen with Toothless having what amounts to an almost human conversation with Hiccup. Now, what if Toothless could not fly? As of right now, Toothless requires Hiccup to be on his back to fly. That would put him at a huge disadvantage with Drogon, limiting him to the ground. With all of his faculties intact, Toothless would most certainly obliterate Drogon. One plasma shot to the head or neck, and Drogon would literally be toast. However, the Night Fury is severely handicapped when he's not able to fly and is even a bit slow. We know from the How to Train Your Dragon series that all the dragons are essentially fireproof or at least most of them. We see this when Toothless is able to shield Hiccup from the fire, and we're also revealed this when Hiccup says to one of the little terrors, not so fireproof on the inside, which means they're fireproof on the outside. That means that even grounded Toothless would stand a chance against Drogon if Drogon were to open up a stream of fire on him. Toothless would stand his ground and shield himself with his wings, and as Drogon would close in, Toothless would use a proximity and his chance to unleash a great ball of plasma which would blow a hole right through Drogon's head. The idea of Toothless winning is only ever possible for the Night Fury if he stays far away from his opponent. If Drogon were to get his jaws around Toothless, Toothless would be dead in seconds. Even in How to Train Your Dragon the first movie, we see how weak Toothless is once he is too near to his opponent. When he came running to Hiccup's rescue, the Vikings were able to overthrow him quite easily. This was only providing that Toothless did not use his plasma attack. Now he could have bitten a few of their legs off and thrashed around quite a bit, and their numbers would have eventually overthrown him anyway in the end. 
It sounds weird, but the Night Fury is a force to be reckoned with against a dragon like Drogon. So, how would you see this battle going down? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. This has been Altiori. You ask, we answer.